Yeah. All right, just uh, can you just introduce yourself and uh, your company? So my name is Bert Snow. I'm the VP of Design and Production at Muzzy Lane Software, and we are a uh, development company in Newburyport, focused on serious games and games for learning. Great. So, uh, what what, is, what do you have for us this year that you guys came, uh, that you worked on over the past <laughs> past year? We've got a lot going on, but what we're today is a game called Government in Action, and it's a game that's, that's used in uh, American government courses. Uh, we're doing it in, uh, in uh, partnership with McGraw Hill Education as part of a new line of simulations we've been doing for them. It's called Practice. Uh -huh. So it's, it's the uh, second in the practice series uh, following uh, Practice Marketing, which is a game, a strategy game for learning about marketing. So this is about learning how the, uh, how the government works, and in it you play a congressman. So you are, you are a congressman with a district, and uh, you, you must you get elected, you need to go to Washington. Once you get to Washington, you have to pass bills, uh, work with other players, it's, it's, it's a multiplayer game, so, uh, so you're working with other other congressmen, you're, in, you're either in the majority or the minority party, and uh, it's, uh, it's, just, it's, it's just being uh, was announced at uh, South by Southwest two weeks ago, and is, is in class tests right now, it will be in classrooms as well, uh, and it's, it's pretty fun. So, so with that whole political agenda, is there like kind of, are you going to be, are they, are we dealing with like Republican, Democrat, Independent? You, are, is there like multiple forms of entities that you could be as a congressman? Like, uh, and and can you do the whole concept of uh, reaching across the aisle and yeah. saying, hey, we need help with this? Will you agree with it? Yeah. So you're either you're either Republican or Democrat, and and. The game has, has rounds, which are essentially electoral cycles. So you think of the four-year cycles and you're in office as a, as a congressperson. Um, and each, each cycle, the, uh, the party that's, that's in power changes. So one cycle, you're, you're in the uh, majority, the next year in the minority. So it's interesting. So, you, so then you have, to, you have to learn really a lot of what happens in Congress is if you're in the minority, you're on defense. Trying to, you're trying to prevent the, uh, the opposing party from passing things that you really don't believe in. If you're, if you're in the majority, this is your time to shine, right? So you, you know, you're opposing bills, you're, you've, got a, you've got more of a chance to get them through. But also, uh, when you arrive as a, as a rookie congressman, um, and you have, to, you have to build your support amongst lobbyists, um, amongst your party, you have to raise money. Um, Hello again. Howdy. Hey, how are you doing? Good. What's wrong with your eyes? Everything. <laughs> Everything is wrong with my eyes. <laughs> Video camera. Oh. Yeah, we were, I was telling them that we had seen uh, the, you know, the, the your past games and stuff like that. We even reviewed, you know, we reviewed yeah, it and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So we were looking, we were talking to him about the whole setup that you guys have now with this, uh, the political, the political government design, action. the government in action, the uh, the dreaded government in action. So, so it does. Does it matter? Also, um, the other, the other thing that I was thinking also is, is does it matter? What kind of president is in the uh, in the actual White House? Do you have that kind of an establishment? Like, if he's Republican, if he's Democrat, so more or less, you, you do have that kind of in play. Yeah. So, so the so the, the president is in office, and he is either in your party or not. Yeah. And um, the, there's also a Supreme Court. Ah. Okay. So, so some some bills may be challenged. Um, it's interesting because. As we developed it, we had to really pay attention to what are the decisions that are most important for the player to make as congressman. What's interesting is we work with a variety of different models before arriving at what worked best. Yeah. Like for instance, you might think, oh, Speaker of the House. You'd like to play Speaker of the House, right? Well, actually, it's not a great role because because it's sort of it's a gatekeeper role. And, and what we found is if we, if we put players in that role, that it was, it had, they had the power to sort of push things to the point that the players playing Congress people didn't, you know, sort of didn't have the ability to kind of 
you know what might be happening and you can push their agenda forward. So the so the so that's that's AI. And the president is also not played. The, pre the president sees bills, yeah. decides on them based on on a variety of characteristics. So so the so the party the party each party has an agenda. So they have top issues that they care about. And so if you if you like if I'm a Democrat and I well, let's switch that. If I'm a Republican and I propose a really strong gun control bill, right? Yeah. My party has positions, they're not going to be happy with that. That's going to hurt my support of my Ah, okay. Right. No and, and so it's a concept of like the popularity contest. It's like who 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 really like is uh, displaying what would be best for like the whole and whatnot. Yeah, not really pop well, not popularity so much as is what you're doing in line with what your party values. And not only that, what about your history? Right. Yes. So I'm 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 that Republican Congressman. I managed to get myself elected from, from Massachusetts. Right? Yeah. So 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 the gun control bill I just pre pre proposed that's playing well back home. They're saying you know Bert you know yeah he's a Republican but you know he's a free thinker and that's why we elected him. He's he's willing to go down there and propose gun control. But the party is angry with me. If you've got a Republican president. He's not going to sign to them. And, yeah. And, and I've got to raise money. Ah, okay. So I've also, I'm also going to raise money to stay in office. And you know, while I've been down here in uh, in uh, Washington, I've got an opponent who's, who's getting ready to, to uh, take me on in the next election. Ah. So you, Chris, can you drive a little bit so you can sure. go back and forth? So this is Washington. All right. So. Start with the lobbyists. So it's either go across the political spectrum. So depending on what kind of bill you introduce, they may or may not want to give you money and publicly support you. Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, okay. So you do have all the libertarian type stuff in there too. It's, oh, it's all across the scale. So you see up here, these icons represent the type of different issues. Ah, uh, okay. So so, so, so that's like example. legal. Healthcare. So you see both the Democrats and the Republicans are both interested in healthcare, but they're probably opposing things. You know, the Democrats would want more like, you know, universal health care, Republicans might want more vouchers or something that's you know completely different. But it's still the same issue. Yes. Which is good this in, in, across the spectrum. There are. Then once you've gotten some money from your uh, lobbyists, you can spend it at with national media, help get your message out. Ah, so okay. whenever you're uh, on the internet or uh, social networking or uh, television, right? Across the board, the more people you're going to reach. Yeah. Sounds kind of cool. That, that's pretty awesome. So so here we are, we, this is where you go to you know, the capital to introduce legislation. You can either propose a bill or you can um, uh, uh, co-sponsor other bills. So if someone else has got a bill and you can say, yes, I'll, I'll co-sponsor for you. Either way, if one of those bills goes through, yours or theirs, you get your score influence. Or you score points. You're trying to get the most political capital to win the game. Ah, okay. And that's a bit, comes from influence, approval, and a, a awareness. Now, it may look like this person has no influence, but you start the game with influence. This problem, what's happened is when you... Uh, uh, introduce an issue, there's a cost, there's an influence cost. You yeah. use some of your influence to make that happen. That's why if you're a freshman, you can't just introduce like a major healthcare bill. You don't have enough influence. Yeah, there's no... You start with something small, and you co-sponsor small things, and then by the second or third term, you've developed some, you know... So basically, like, if you're, like, starting out, you're like, okay, maybe we should do youth activities and then stuff exactly. like that. So and then the try board. to get try to get it going up that way and then try to figure out something to so endure. Yeah. Right. Now, now, is this going to be, like, cooperative and stuff like that? Are you going to, yeah. you guys made it so it's going to so be a multiplayer so, so, setup? So you're, so you're already competing against the stats here on a computer, but these will be other students. Ah, right? okay. And so you can work with them or against them. Cool. You can try to make deals with them, or you can make deals behind their back against them. Yeah. Right? And, that will, and that will have an effect in the game. So that's what, this is only half of what's going on, though. So you're spending all your, if you spend all your time in D.C., you're going to be screwed because you will never get reelected. Yes. So you must fly home. Fly. <laughs> Hop on the Learjet. <laughs> and, when you, and, and when you get here, you, you've got a... Uh, this is your home district. Ah. Wow, you guys really went into the detail aspect. Oh, sure. 
So you've got your town hall meetings, rallies, okay. right? Things to do. This is local media over here, right? So again, you can have them talk about whatever specific issue you want. This is your headquarters. So you can hire staff. Ah. Get, get, get your own political uh, agenda, uh, like you know, yeah. constituent services. Okay. Right? You know, someone's you know happy about a sign down the street or a stoplight. Yeah. Right? And you know, over to the country club to get more money from donors, right? Yep. And again, just whoops. And again, just like the um, uh, the lobbyists in Washington, they are across the political spectrum and they represent different points of view that decide whether or not they want to give you money. You guys even involve the country club setup too. You know that's it, a, baby. Yeah, that's awesome. Gotta have the I golf love. Clubs. Gotta have the golf clubs. You gotta have to have the massive pool. Oh my God, this is this is amazing. You guys have really put in a lot of detail and stuff like that. I, I can't believe that. You guys are supposed to work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This this is just like blows my mind. I mean, especially to go from what you guys had designed with, you know, making history and stuff like that. I used to love, I love that whole aspect. I mean, turn by turn basis, try to create a, a you know, political economy and stuff like that to go and get into the war and, and make sure that you take care of whatever you needed to. This is, this is based on objectives that McGraw-Hill wants for a specific course. Yes. So it starts with the learning objectives and we build the game around that and design the game around that with their subject matter experts. Okay, so this would probably be more along the little, uh, uh, of like a politicals class or something along those lines. It's it would be. For American government it, class. It's for Amer American government. Even though I've never heard of that. I mean, like I was thinking, yeah, it was, it was definitely because I know a lot of people back at college that I, that were my friends. They were dealing with the politics of try, you know trying to get their degree yeah, in that. I mean, I'm guessing it's gonna it's gonna really show up in AP American history class. Oh yes. Too. Yeah. You know, right. Its first market is definitely going to be college introduction to American government, which is actually you know a lot of a lot of students take that, but it's. Mike, when you think about making history, it's like, okay, by playing that game, you, know, you understand why it sucked to be France in World War II, right? Yeah, you know, because they were... You know, England's across the channel, they're not coming. India on one side, I mean, uh, Italy on one side, Germany on the other. Here, it's like, you, in you go, it's like, oh, okay, I've got to, I've got to pass the bills. Oh, wait, I've got to build up my, my uh, influence. Okay, I've got to work with the lobbyists. I'm going to pay for staff. Oh, yeah, yeah you got to pay for staff. And suddenly you're thinking, and if you're not paying attention to what's going on back home, you're screwed. But even if you are, it's like, well, all right, I have to I have to do th things that my district cares about and my party cares about. And let's say you're somebody who, in in real life, you're pretty liberal, but in the game you're playing you're playing a Republican. But what, you, what you're learning about is like, oh, it isn't all just about hey, what do I think when I get to Congress, right? It's like, what do your, what does your district want? Yeah. What is the party, party powers want? Ah. What's the president willing to sign? You know, because if you don't pay attention to all those things, you're not going to get anything done. Right. And, and if you're not getting anything done, you know, Meanwhile, that's another some, reason why you're not going to get elected. Yeah. You know? Meanwhile, some other student is, and yeah. they're going to win the game. Yeah. Right. So, so next time you play, you're going to go, well, maybe I should pay more attention to those things. Yeah. See, my, my gears is grinding. Like, I, if I was the professor, I'd be like, all right, what political party are you? You're a Democrat? You're going to play a Republican this exactly. time. Exactly. See what happens. Because exactly. <laughs> yeah. kids come in and they're like, you know, they haven't necessarily thought about it. They, you know, they have their, their views, you know, which maybe haven't been that well thought out about how they feel politically, but they haven't, how things really work. And by playing this... I don't think I don't think you could get this by reading an American. No, no. I, I uh, see. In our public school system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, with with, with me, I'm a visual person. I need to learn it that way and usually. If you're stubborn, if you come in and say, you know what, um, I, I'm a Republican. There's no way I'm going to introduce. I'm playing a Democrat. There's no way I'm going to introduce a Democrat. So, so you introduce a bill that's very conservative. Good luck getting support from your national party or your district, most likely. Yeah. You know, you're gonna really, you're gonna really be screwed. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's. You've got, you've got a. You've got, you've got, in fact, you, that will, if you play long enough, and you're very successful. Then you might be able to get away with it. If you have a lot of influence, you might be able to introduce something that's across party lines or co-sponsor something that's really a, a big deal in the other party. So a class comes in to play this. And you know, half of them are Democrats, half of them are Republicans. You know, the game goes on for you know, rounds of, of, of election cycles. It all keeps score. It all so this is part of the practice series. So it's all you know, it's all 
saved up to the web. The teachers can see it. They can talk about who's who's doing well, how it's going. So, so basically, what you guys have it, you have it set up so that you can still interact with the uh, with the professors or the teachers or what whatnot that are introducing this to the class, and they can make little suggestions here and there. And are you guys uh, are you guys working on tweaking it? Teachers are definitely, um, you know, they, we're constantly uh, uh, adapting the game. That's the great thing about having an iterative process like this, even after it's released. Yes. You know, if we find that oh, there's a certain area the kids aren't finding, yeah, we can adjust the UI and it's like a regular game patch. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everyone can get that and take advantage of it. So, oh, man. We, it's soft. We, it's like with all our games, we treat it like software. Yes. It's not like, hey, this is one game, we finished it, quit gold, it's out in the world, oh, we have a couple patches to fix things, add some DLC. No, it's an interview. And that's process. it, let's walk away. <laughs> because because we, we're also controlling the deployment of the game. Yes. That's an essential piece of what we do for clients, is after you've made design and development, now it's going to run well. Oh, definitely. You no, know, it's going to have. It's going. It's, it's going to. Professors have to be, you know, confident that when they play it in class, things are going to work, and they can get the data Bert was talking about. Students can get the data that they were. That it's all lives in the cloud. It's not on your computer or my computer specifically. Oh, right? definitely. Yeah. So it's very important that those servers function properly. We see what happens when they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Mass chaos. Mass chaos. <laughs> Dogs and cats living together. Yes. <laughs> But uh, I, I have to say, thank you again for letting us uh, sure, check this out and whatnot. This is this awesome. is amazing. We, Dude, yeah, let's go see you again. As, yes. as much as we're bastards, we want people to learn so they're not dumbass, <laughs> dumbasses yeah. that go through the world. We we got enough of them. So like hopefully to say we're bastards by name. Yeah. Not by reputation. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, awesome. yes. Yeah. thank you very much. If we